In this video, we will create a GUI application that inserts into a table created in Microsoft SQL Server with Python. I will use the custom Kinter library when designing the GUI application. In previous lessons, we made two different GUI applications that created a database and a table. There is currently no data in the employees table. There are entry, table and label objects in the GUI application. I enter the table name, ID, first and last name values. When I click on the button, insertion into the table occurs. We can see the data in the table with select. We will do the application again with you. To support us, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel and like the video. So let's start. In previous lessons, we made two different GUI applications that created tables and databases. Using this code, we can create a GUI application where we can create a database. There is no database in Microsoft SQL Server yet. There are entry, button and label objects in the application. When you click on the create button with the name entered in the entry object, a database is created. You can connect to the database with connect. You can see the created database by clicking the refresh button. There is no table in the database yet. In the previous lesson, we made a GUI application where we could create tables. We can create the GUI application using this code. There are entry, radio button, button and label objects in the application. I enter the table and column names. I can set column types using a radio button object. When I click the button, a table is created. We can see the created table by clicking the refresh button. Columns with the name and type I specified were created. Now I will insert data into the table I created using Python. I am creating a code file. First, I will connect to the database using the PODBC library. If you don't have the PODBC library in your project yet, you can transfer it using this code. You can also transfer the custom Kinter library for the GUI application this way. I import the PODBC library for the database connection. I will do the connection operation in the try except structure. I am creating a variable. I will establish the database connection by sending the necessary parameters to the connect function. I set the driver option to SQL Server. You can find the server name this way. I set the database name to turtle code. Since I will be using Windows Authentication, I set the Trusted Connection option to True. I set the Auto Commit option to True. The Commit function will be called automatically every time the Execute function runs. I will send an Insert command to the Execute function. I can easily generate random data on this website. I will add the link of the site to the video description section. I will create a table with ID, first and last name columns. Five data is enough. I set the table name to employees. I can see the data by clicking the preview button. I send the SQL codes to the execute function using the copy paste method. 
I will insert for data into the table. I did the other two as well. If the insertion process ends incorrectly, I will show the error code on the console screen. I can do this using the accept structure. I print the error on the console screen. We had already created the table just now. I run select command to see the data in the table. There is no data in the table. Now I run the Python command. Execute functions worked. When I run the select query again, I will see that four data have been added to the table. Now I will create a GUI application where we can do the same operation. I am creating a code file. I will do this using the custom Kinta library. I import PODBC and custom Kinta libraries. I set the view mode to system. I set the color theme to blue. I create a variable for the window. I can adjust the window size with the geometry function. I am adjusting the window title. I use the main loop function to prevent the window from closing suddenly. I created an empty window. Now I will add the entry objects one by one. First, I create an entry object for the table name. I send the window name and text values to the entry function. I add the object to the window using the place function. I added the entry object to the window for the table name. Now I will add the entry objects for ID, first name and last name to the window one by one. I'm copying and pasting. I am making the necessary arrangements. The entry object for the ID has been added to the window. I create the entry object for the first name. I am making the necessary arrangements. I added the entry object for the first name to the window. Finally, I add the last name entry object to the window. I am making the necessary arrangements. The entry object for last name has been added to the desktop window. Now I will create a button. When the button is pressed, the insertion process will take place. I send the window name, text, task function and color parameters to the button function. I add the button to the window using the place function. For now, I am creating the task function with pass. The button has been added to the desktop window. Now I will create a label object that indicates whether the insert operation was successful or not. I send the window variable and text values to the label object. I add the label object to the window using the place function. Label object has been added to the window. 
Now I will edit the task function. I will use the try except structure to detect errors. First, I will create a variable. I send driver, server, database and trusted connection values to the connect function. We can find the server name this way. You can see the database name like this. Since I will use Windows Authentication, I set the Trusted Connection option to True. I set the Auto Commit option to True. The Commit function will be called automatically every time the Execute function runs. I will send the insert into command to the execute function. I can access the values entered by the user into the entry object with the get function. If the insertion process completes successfully, I will update the text property of the label object. I can do this using the configure function. I decide what to do in case of an error by using the accept structure. I will show the error on the console screen using the print command. I edit the label object in error state. I can copy and paste. I'm testing the app. There are four data in the table. I will add the fifth data. I enter the table name and other information. When you click on the button, the fifth data is added to the table. I can see the data in the table with the select query. You can add different data to the table. In the next video, we will learn how to run the select query in Python. We will also design an application again. Thanks for watching. To support us, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel and like the video.